Oh, good morning, and welcome to a Tech Talk Tuesday that's gonna get aired on Wednesday, and today's tech is tools. If you came for bike stuff, it's, well, it's bike stuff, but it's, it's tools that help me with tech. Uh, in this box, we got something real, I'm real fired up on, real excited. So, let's dive in and Check it out. I gotta, I gotta see what to do first. Is this, uh, is this any indication of what this might be? I'm just gonna give it away. This, this. It's uh, got a little pin on one side. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven parts. Any guesses? Any guesses? No? No? Nothing? All right, let's build it. This, this may be a guess. This. guesses now you know what this is no no it's not not assemb not tied to the bench yet I haven't aligned it yet shock dino what 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 does that even mean? Well, well, basically what it means is that I can, when a customer sends in a shock from out of state or if I don't have the bike to work on, or also if I have the bike, I just wanna make sure it's working properly off with all the extra moving parts of the bicycle or after we do a service on it, we throw it in here and we can hand actuate what the shock's actually doing, make sure all the compression circuits work, make sure the rebound actually speeds up or slows down with the correct adjusting knobs Basically, it's just the next cool toy that I just had to had to get. I was actually trying to design one of these and build one and get it CNC machined uh, for a long time, and I don't have the the wherewithal, the knowledge, or the tools to do so. So I ordered one. Bang! Handmade Aptos, California. Gotta love it. Keeping it in NorCal. All right, so I just so happened to have a shock here uh, from a while back. And I just C clamped this stand to the front just to show you. So here we go, right? So we're gonna install, we've installed the shock. We wanna test it out. See it's functioning correctly. We'll adjust the rebound. It does go slower. Slowly ramps back up. Slowing. Yep. Killer. And this is an epic shock. We'll see if the brain's working. Pull open, lock her up. That's kind of cool. You can, you can fake the brain. That's pretty sweet. You can actually fake the brain by initiating the inertia valve. So you apply a little bit of pressure. Yeah. That's pretty tight. All right. So it's basically it's a new cool tool to play with. And yeah, we're gonna get it mounted up over there. I'm gonna do some more work on the on the uh, supportness of the bench. It'll get bolted down and just further adding more to our suspension service department here at Kinetic Cycles. As always, if you have not been servicing it, you need to service it. The race season is here, folks. Tomorrow's Prairie City. I'm not sure who you're kidding. The World Championships and you, the first World Cup actually, and you better be sure to have your suspension and brakes and bike dialed because, I mean, at the end of the day, there, there's, there's nothing on the line actually. It's just a fun Wednesday night race series, but still keep your bikes dialed. All right, I think that's gonna be it. This is a, uh, this is a pretty sick little Tech Talk Tuesday that we got going on. So we will see you guys tomorrow. And uh, that's right, baby. That's it, over and out.